Anita, Anita. What, what did you see? There's someone right in there. Something come out of this cell. Look like that at me. Right over. <laughs> <You> okay? <coughs> I feel like I'm not alone right now. Like someone has just been following right behind me. Okay, what? watch, watch that again. Watch clearly here. Do you see that white mist? Yes. Oh my God! No. I did it! No way! No. no! How did that just happen from both sides? No! This is one of the most preserved towns in all of Canada. Not only that, tonight we are going to the oldest county jail and courthouse that Canada had. This is known to be the oldest. Before we get into that, right now I just kind of wanted to mention that we are in the midst of a hurricane. Last night and today, a hurricane ripped up the Maritimes and we are traveling to New Brunswick. This is not one of those nights where it's a typical investigation for us. Yeah. This was not meant to happen. We booked this spot like well in advance, like a month, maybe a month and a half ago. And it just so happened that when we came, we were in the middle of a hurricane. Mm -hmm. So just wanted to send my deepest prayers and thoughts out to all the families who were severely affected by it. And you know, like some of the Maritimes were actually very torn up. A lot, yeah. We're just gonna take a moment and just send our best thoughts, our prayers out to the families that were affected by this. It's not a joke, it's not a game. Where we are right now, luckily didn't get hit. Mm -hmm. So we're good, we're golden. At the moment though, we have no idea what happened to our condo. Yeah. We have no way to reach anybody. A lot of people are without power. When we get back, we probably will be without power. So we're both a little anxious in the sense where we don't know if our home was affected. Yeah. Um, which throws us off a little bit, especially me. I'm yeah. like very anxious about it. So It's just going into an investigation and filming while we don't know certain things really took a big toll on us. Last night was just hectic yeah. and it was just, you know, one of those nights where all we want to do is go home. Believe it or not, there's a few known spirits that actually hang around this jail. And one of the main ones is Thomas Hutchings, which was executed by hanging back in the day. He was the last person to get executed yeah. here. He is actually one of the very few spirits, like actually one of the most hostile spirits this place has. People, visitors, even the tour guide, we're gonna meet up with the tour guide in a sec. A good portion of people have actually experienced this man appearing. Mm -hmm. Like as a full apparition, not only that, like poltergeist activity is known to be here. There's people who committed suicide in here, ended their own lives. There's Someone a lot of froze. death. Someone froze to death. Someone burnt to death. Just a lot of tragedy. Like a yeah. lot of tragic ways of dying happened here. The old jailer, which was basically the old jail officer, his wife burned to death upstairs. They lived above mm -hmm. the jail and she burned to death. Yep. There are very tragic stories here. Like kids would get jailed here for yep. like skipping school and stuff like that. Um, families, women. There was a woman that was jailed here for like two murders or something. Yep, murdering um, both of her husbands. Yeah, like it was crazy. Absolutely one of the most terrifying and oldest jails we've ever been to, right? Like we've been to a lot of jails, but I think this one might actually be a little bit different. Yeah, you could feel the heaviness like as soon as you walked into the corridors. I think one of the coolest things about this jail is back in the day when Creepy Canada was shooting around Canada, for the TV show, this was one of their locations. Yeah. And it is known to be so active. We even talked to Felicity, and she says known people that even just walk in experience stuff. There's been a lot of people who have literally walked up to staff there and been like, what the heck? Yeah. You know? This is one for the books. Like, we have backed up evidence of 
people saying this is haunted and we're finally able to do it so we're gonna run in there probably run through some more history felicity is very good at what she does mm -hmm. and she'll probably tell us a little bit more in retrospect this is gonna turn tables because what i didn't understand or didn't even know walking into here when felicity did the tour for us the courthouse which was an active courthouse up until a few years ago actually holds more of the spirits now we're not going to be able to investigate that or film that just because of um, i think it's owned by the town the spirits that actually haunt the jail are known to be in that courthouse too that there's a lot of what did she say they laid thomas on the ground there yeah after he was hung Hours. for 12 hours there was so many inmates that actually went through there she would find handprints a lot. It was an apparition of Thomas himself on several different occasions so I don't know this is gonna be definitely one for the books and I'm excited so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go and meet Felicity we're gonna learn more about the knowledge and the history of the place and she'll probably run down some more stuff so fingers crossed that we come across some really cool evidence yeah and a good experience so let's go meet up with her Two scantily clad short-term prisoners, Jack O'Dell and Robert Lawson, escaped from the county jail this afternoon by unlocking the front door, but returned voluntary last night. They decided that as being the coldest weather of the season, it was the wrong time for a jail break. Oh. So they just came back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Lady who's in there, <clears throat> who was there, and found innocent in a court of law over in the court there. Sarah Maria. Yeah. Twice. Was accused of murder and twice. First time it was rumored to be her lover, uh -huh. and the second time was her husband. But this is Thomas Dowd from 1878, which wasn't investigated. He had actually had, Thomas Ward, had had feuds with neighboring people, and they weren't investigated. He also had somebody stay at the Ward residence who had a gripe with him. And those two weren't even investigated. Oh my gosh. I think they just automatically took Thomas Ward. Yeah. Thomas Dowd, sorry, because he hadn't been in Canada very long. I mean, it's it's the same thing with Thomas Hutchins. He hadn't right. been in, and they, you know, you come from England um, and, you know, you're here on your own. Well, you're easy yeah. prey. Is he seen here as an apparition or is it just mainly the other guy? Um, if you ask him to come out, he will come out. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. I have to do that. And this is from the jailer, right? Um, okay. Da, 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 da. Now, spectacular of the ghosts are those of Thomas Dow, who was executed for the murder of Thomas Ward on January 14th, 1879. Those who claim they have seen it include George Goodall. Now, he was the jailer. He had the house across the road, and he's passed away now. Mm -hmm. um, he was the jailer during the 1940s and says that on several occasions he witnessed a strange event in the second cell on the right, which is the second cell. A light here appears about the size of your little finger, and it moves around the walls like it's writing something. First time I saw it, another fellow was with me, and I won't tell you what he saw. He's from St. Stephen, and he might not like it if I told you his name. This is from his, his own personal notes. Okay. Um, the second cell on the right is the one where Thomas Dowd was incarcerated prior to his execution. It's now known as the death cell. Those who've seen it say the word for the restless spirit is rights in lights on the wall is innocent. That even on before Thomas Hutchins was hung, the bell above that door would ring and there'd be nobody there. But if you look at history, when hangings were due to take place, the bells would ring. Really? Oh, really? So they'd yeah. ring it and then it would... And then, and then they would execute the person? Yeah. It would be oh. a sign for people to come out. Right. Bring your chairs, bring your kids. Because in some countries, even to this day, hangings are considered, you know, <laughs> a spectacular event. And yeah. they will go... But you this... ring the bells. As, and it says, the investigation, the trial, and the execution of Tommy Dowd provide rich fodder for the newspapers of the day. Reporters came from as far as Boston to cover the story for their subscribers. And fortunately for researchers, found four local papers, the St. Croix Courier, the St. Andrew Standard, the Bay Pilot, and the Beacon printed every single juicy tidbit of gossip <laughs> and innuendo surrounding those caught up in the dramatic proceedings. Yep, see, on the morning of September 9th, 1878, Thomas at his breakfast, 
um, and left his new river beach after telling his wife that he'd be home. So tonight, I guess we'll look for Thomas Dowd. Thomas Dowd is the one who hung. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I guess we could also look for Hutchins. Yeah. The other guy. Yeah. We'll we'll probably base it off of those two guys. Just to yeah. see, you know, mm -hmm. we don't want to. Thomas, a knight of two Thomases. Justice Reynolds had a man named Thomas Dowd arrested on suspicion of being the murderer. The man arrested has been lodging with the ward and his wife at the spot where the body is found is only about a mile from the house. There are strange rumours concerning the three persons, husband, wife and the lodger. Sergeant Thomas Hutchins mm -hmm. started on the 29th but there was a delay because they didn't have all the evidence. So they called him into court on the 29th of September only to adjourn it for three days. Oh wow. But he still had to go into court to listen to the charges being read. So it goes back to this 29th of September. We'll wait till you find out about Hospital Island. <laughs> Hospital Island? Oh yeah. I'll have to point you in the direction of the story on the Ghost Walks Facebook page. Yeah. It was the quarantine island for all the people coming into Canada from Ireland and Europe. But of course back then they were carrying ships fever. Oh the yes. Plague. So that was the quarantine island. Is that the one that you can walk to on low tide, Paid Patridge's Island? Is that? Um, no, that's another that's island. Another one? Okay. They don't recommend you go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you look at it on Google Earth, you'll see that nothing grows there. There is a house, but anybody who's tried to build on it, it just seems to be doomed. Oh, wow. But what happened is, um, and we can look at the file, is that the first ship that came in is recorded as like 144 dead and dying. You didn't make it off that island. And if you did, you came onto the mainland, if you were fit, or mm -hmm. down to Boston. The doctor is buried up at the uh, Lawyer's Cemetery. And he even says that, uh, you know, it's difficult to keep uh, <laughs> cleanliness and array, which means that it was a free-for-all. Mm -hmm. um, and then as the quarantine island changed and the ships weren't bringing the diseased anymore, they closed it down. Then uh, the Saxby Gap came to town um, and it ripped out all of their graves and everybody washed up on the mainland here. So shrouded in mist and mystery and only three and a half nautical miles from St Andrews and is opposite the Irish Cross at the point is an island less than three acres. That's a lot less now. And it's west of Hardwood Island. It's the island known as Little Hardwood Island, but locals call it the Quarantine Island or Hospital Island. In 1832, it was chosen as the site to be the quarantine station and cholera hospital in order to control the importation of infectious diseases, particularly cholera, which at that time was raging across Europe and other feared diseases. A hospital was built and it was only 60 by 20 feet. Two stories, two chimneys and one cellar. Also built was a pest house, a doctor's house and a keeper's house. As there was no portable drinking water was available on the island and it still isn't. One sailboat had to ferry the water from nearby Hardwood Island, which has fresh water, over to Hospital Island. Most of the passengers detained on Hospital Island were buried there were from Ireland. The doctors who cared for the sick and dying, and then Dr. Samuel Frey, who's actually buried up in the uh, Loyalist Cemetery, hmm. he sadly contracted the fever and died himself. During this time, he continually lobbied for improvements to the facilities on the island. In June 84, 1847, he wrote to the magistrates, the principle of this building can only contain about a hundred souls without overcrowding. It is destitute of beds, bedsteads, berth, bunks, or any other accommodations for beds, which have now been made on the floor, in disorder, rendering it impossible to preserve order and cleanliness. After him, Dr. W.C. McStay, Dr. Thompson, and Dr. E. DeWolf. The exact number of deaths and burial on at the island are still unknown. Some say 400, some say more or less. One ship that sailed in had at least 75 to 100 dying passengers and this was reported by Dr Grove. By 1865 immigration to the area had dropped in numbers and the quarantine hospital went out of use. The lack of fresh water, the destruction from the harsh winters was also a contributing factor. Four years later, the famous Saxby Gale of 1869 came to the town and it ravaged the island, bringing down the already weakened buildings. It also washed away the graveyard that was there, uncovering the coffins 
and in some cases tearing the coffins apart and exposing the bones and skulls. The island is deemed by the locals to be a place of doom and gloom and it's very hard to actually find somebody who will venture out onto the island. I know one gentleman who's desperate to get out there and I'm like, no, you're on your own with that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, wow. no, I had a friend who went out there and uh, it didn't end well. No way. So, no, okay. when I moved here, I already knew about that island mm -hmm. because of the Celtic Cross. Yeah. So I'd done a little bit of research because, you know, quarantine islands always fascinate me. So, yeah. you know, we kind of wow. live through the same thing now, haven't we, really? Yeah, that's true. But no, this whole place is haunted, like the Ross Mountain. Um, it's a haunted town, what can I say? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. the old, one of the oldest towns in Canada still. Yeah. Oldest Preserved. Lawless. Yeah. Oldest lawless seaside resort in Canada. All right, so we're about to start the investigation. We're going to get Felicity to lock us in and we'll see what we catch. Yeah. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. So much. Just give me a shout. I might be able to hear you through the doors. Awesome. <laughs> Sounds great. It's like a dead sound. Hey, there we go. <laughs> All right. Thank you are being bolted in. <laughs> And we're locked. See you at six o'clock tomorrow. Morning. <laughs> oh man! You feel that now? We are officially locked in. No clickbait. We're now in the most haunted jail, probably in the Maritimes. Yep. So right now, I think we're gonna set some equipment up. Probably aim for red pod work. We're gonna do a lot of probably light work as well. Our main objective today: Thomas Hutchins, which was actually the creepy Canada guy. He was actually one of the main hostile spirits that still remain here. And possibly the woman that was accused of two murders. Because that is really intriguing me. Another one too that would be cool to kind of communicate with is the warden's wife who burnt to death in yes. here. She actually, I think she died upstairs. I'm getting shivers already. Like this is crazy. I know. Finally, she's been wanting to do it for such a long time. Not only to bring a voice to this jail, in courthouse, but to really have our own experience and to just see if we can actually catch what people claim to be here. All right, so not this one. This one here was Thomas Hutchins' cell. That was a guy off of Creepy Canada, which actually killed the woman and he was jailed in here. So we're gonna actually- They say he killed the woman. They say he killed the woman. But you know, back in that day, like so many people were accused, even if they're innocent, right? But he was also a sergeant in the Royal Air Force. Yeah. It's a main thing, another main thing to note. So since he's actually the most active here that people say, we're gonna place this very loud red pod right in front of his cell. If we even need to move it into his bed, we can. So this will detect... If anyone comes in and out of yeah. that cell. So just so people know... Did you see that move? Yeah, it did move though. That literally just moved! But would, would that have been caused from you touching it? No. It literally shifted. So just so people know. Did you see that move? So just so people know. Did you see that move? So just so people know. I really hope my camera was pointing on it. Oh my it. god, that shifted. Thomas, are you in here already? He was earlier. I saw that with my own eyes, that shit. Yeah, I saw that too. So Thomas, what we have here is called a REM device. Pretty much all you have to do is go near it and it will be able to detect you. This is also a REM device. Okay, same thing. It's gonna detect any sort of motions. So I want you to try your best. Do your best to communicate with us tonight because we came a long way to communicate with you and ask you some questions. So please build up as much energy. We have lights. We have a lot of equipment that should produce energy for you. So. We also traveled through a storm just to get here to talk to you guys. I'm sure. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, I did. That wasn't me. Maybe put it in um, the second cell. This one over here? Yeah, the innocent man. Thomas Dowd. Okay. Maybe just readjust it. It's not going off right here, but look. I don't 
I hope the camera was like, it's not even going off anymore. I know, and it was just two seconds ago. And it's not for me touching it. I guess it's actually not for me touching that. Can you make it stop, please? Thank oh you. Oh my gosh. Do you think that's Thomas? That has to be. So I think we should kind of make a difference between the two Thomases. We are uh, dealing with Thomas Hutchins, whose cell is just right who we there. were before. And then this is Thomas Doubt. So I think um, in order to us kind of like be able to communicate and for you guys to have it easier to know which Thomas we're talking about, I say we just call him Tom, because I saw on one of the notes that it went by Tom. Okay. And um, he was a sergeant, so we can always just say like Sergeant Tom. And this guy, Thomas, we will just call you Thomas. Is that cool, Thomas? Touch the REM pod if it's cool. Also, another really cool thing about Thomas's cell that Felicity was telling us about was how there's a lot of graffiti from the original uh, inmates. What was that? I heard a tick moving. Somebody in there? Like it was like a... Yeah. Anyways, like I was saying, in this cell, there's the graffiti of the original inmates over the years. And they would go in and they would whitewash the walls to try to get rid of some of the graffiti. But it would always come back. And the main thing that would always come back was the word innocent. Which is just like mind boggling to me. It's super cool. If anybody's in here with us, please make yourself known. If there's a specific cell you want us to go to, make a noise from it. We were here earlier in the day doing a tour. So this isn't the first time you've seen us, but I'll reintroduce ourselves just in case. I'm Chelsea. I'm Lamar. And we just came here to communicate with you, hang out, tell your story, get the word out that you're innocent. Another thing, I don't know if we mentioned it on the main channel yet, but, um, Thomas, like Tom, so um, he was hung and he was the last person to be executed by hanging here. And the average time for a hanging is supposed to be eight minutes, but his took 14 because the gallows weren't built correctly. So they actually didn't like execute him properly. So he hung there for 14 minutes. Thomas, can you tell us what it's like to go through the process that you did. Whoa, what was that? Wait, wait. I heard the chattering in, in the cell. Yeah? Just a little bit. Are you in there, Thomas? I just thought I saw somebody over there. So. It is ironic that you kind of say that because earlier when I was in here alone taking my photos before you came in, I was standing right here in front of Thomas's cell and then I quickly glanced that way and I saw a shadow go from one cell door into the other. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, like, like clear as day a man just walking really? into that cell. So. Put it on live mode and I'm just gonna take a bunch of photos and then we can review them later. Okay, I'm gonna take some photos. So if you're in any of these cells, come stand by the door. I just got the biggest sense that someone is watching me from like this side. Really? Yeah, from my my left side. And then I just pan, and I'm right in front of Thomas' dad. Stranger. Stranger, wow. Oh, look at that. K2. 
Okay, two, is this going off? We traveled from Halifax, Nova Scotia to get here. Oh, key two, key two. Can somebody tell us who we're talking to? Oh my gosh, it's going all the way to red. Who's in here with us right now? Whoa. I just felt electricity just right here. Thomas? Is that you? Can you try and answer my question, please? Oh, I got shivers on the back of my neck right here. Really? Yeah, like as soon as I just crossed that line, I just, like you probably see on the back of my neck. Is someone over here? Like I, I, I literally have goosebumps right now. Who are we talking to right now? Can you tell us yours? The light went off, but it goes off on its own, right? Yeah, I have that on auto. Okay. So if that light goes on, it means that a spirit walked in that path. Oh my god, are you cold? Yeah. Like I'm freezing. All of a sudden, just a whiff of cold air. Freezing. Uncle. Uncle. Thomas, we're reaching out to you. We will not hurt you. And the equipment that we have will not hurt you. We have two options of REM pods. That was her. That was her. You mean the person that touched one of the REM pods? No. What? He's talking about his wife. Like the woman who burned? No, it's Thomas. Thomas Dowd. Thomas Dowd. I think he's talking about his wife. The one who said it was her who killed the guy? Yeah, so what had happened was um, Thomas confessed to killing the man, but actually when his wife was on her deathbed, she confessed saying that she was actually the one to kill the Ryan. guy. Ryan. Ryan. Okay, well, cool thing is... She scares me. Who scares you? Cool thing is we have a bunch of names of the people who are actually here and what they went to prison for. So I'm looking to was see. Was it there a Ryan? That's what I was looking to see. Now obviously this isn't everyone, but it's It's a lot of people. Yeah. This guy Alex went to jail for debt. No, I don't see a Ryan. Alright, well let's move the REM pods then. Let's aim them for down here. Part of it, at least. Yeah, part of it. Any spirit here, were you executed by those gallows at the back of the corridor? If so, can you touch the REM pod? My neck. No. It just said my neck. Thank you for communicating with us. Were you hung on those gallows? If so, touch the REM pod or tell us who we're chatting with. 
as if it just said my neck. Wow. I know, right? Thomas Hutchins, are you here with us? Touch one of these devices. Like I said, they will not hurt you. Lucille. Chelsea. Shadow, shadow, shadow. Right in there. That's what I'm saying. We should put that REM pod in his room. I literally just saw a shadow in there. Like someone was just messing around in there. Thomas, are you in there? Like no word of a lie. I just saw a shadow. Is that you, Thomas? Did I just see your shadow? Oh, I need him, I need him, I need him. What, what did you see? There was someone right in there. Like, like seriously. There was someone right in there. Visitor. Oh. I just said visitor. Yeah, we're visiting you. Oh, that just scared the crap out of me. Are we allowed to visit you and your cell? In the darkness though? Yeah. I swear I just saw something form up. I think it's him. I actually think he's in here. This place really is known for a lot of EVPs. So I'm really hoping that the camera picked that up. I'm not playing one bit. When I looked in the corner, something formed up, like someone just stood right up. It came so fast, I and just- And then after you left, it said visitor. And you were in his cell, so it's like he was acknowledging that you're visiting him. Yeah. Oh. Suddenly. Yeah, it did come suddenly. K2 is going off over there. Yeah? Yeah, I saw it just go to orange. Is somebody standing over there? Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? I don't know. I heard like a bit of a scream. Did you just see that orb? I might have caught it. There's an orb that went from here and floated up. You saw it with your own eyes? I saw it with my own eyes. Seriously? That was cool. It was like a... It might have been a dust orb, but I don't think it was. It was like a, a white orb. Aggressive. No, thank you. We're maybe not aggressive, so you don't get to be aggressive. I was going to say, maybe they're talking about us. We don't mean to come off aggressive. I don't think we have been. I just feel so, like, kind of petrified a bit. Don't because I wasn't expecting to see someone stand up in the corner like that. I was just... Something I wasn't preparing for. Also, too, Felicity was saying that in one of the cells, I think it was the other one that Thomas is in, um, there's known to be a growl in there. I'm walking around. Where are you walking? Can you walk with us? Somebody over there? We can see you all. That's amazing. But we can't see you right now, so can you maybe make a noise so we can hear you? This is so creepy. Yeah, complete darkness. Okay, it's not gonna make sense to you, but in my head, I was just talking 
like to spirit just saying like let me know when i'm close by saying hot or cold really yeah and then it just said warm grandmother grandmother were you in jail here I'm really cold. If we give you a moment of silence, are you able to show yourself? Recording. We are recording. What? I thought I saw eyes. But I think it's just the light pulls through the gate. Oh my god. Can you appear to us right now? Oh. What's happening? I quit really labor breathing. Oh, it's tight. Oh. oh it's really tight. You okay, hon? Oh. oh. Take a moment, breathe. Oh, it's super tight around my neck. Seriously? Something just touched that one. You all right? Oh, that was weird. It was like really, really labored breathing and then it got like cold around my neck, but super tight. Are you showing me what it was like to be hung? Which is ironic too, because the what is that thing called again? The noose. The noose is literally right in front of me. That's the one. Irish. 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 No way. Oh my god. And it was a bunch of Irish settlers who were imprisoned here as well. This is actually. That's weird how it went blurry. This is actually the real noose that they used to hang people. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize this thing on the wall? I'm not too sure where your ashes are because we don't even really know who we're chatting with right now. If you tell us your name, we might be able to help you. Babe? I don't think that was me. I don't think so either because... I really don't think that was me. Okay, so we move the light. We put the light in one of the cells. So if that light goes off, someone walked in front of it. We can walk behind it, it won't go off. So if that goes off, something triggered that. You smell that? Do you smell that? Yeah. I'm really here. Yeah, I do smell that. That's a man. Mm -hmm. That actually smells like someone's body odor. Not ours, but like a very dirty, someone who hasn't showered. You know what I mean? Like yeah. It's a different body odor. Did I just smell you? Did you just go by that red device? Do you need energy? If you need some energy, we have lights and stuff you can drain a little bit. I can sense that your energy's low. Thomas? Hutchings. I smell urine. You smell urine? I smell urine. That's urine. Uh, that is so strong. No, that is, that is urine. Mm -hmm. I know what that smells like because group homes, the ones I used to work in, would smell like that. Oh. Man, I wish you guys could smell that through the computer. We have masks on and we can still smell yeah, it through like it. Yeah, that's like reeked. Yeah. So they were saying too that they would have no lights and they would piss into a bucket and stuff? Yeah, so they would actually piss into the bucket that is right behind you. Are you peeing?
What? 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 Let me just push the bench. Actually? Yeah. You're serious right now. Something literally. I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here, both feet on the ground, <laughs> holding the camera, and all of a sudden the bench like just starts like moving forward. Like someone was sitting on it with me, going like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the person would have literally had to been like. Right beside you. It moved, babe. Okay, who's in here? You are not safe. <sighs> but we are safe. We're protected. You can't hurt us. Just like we're not going to hurt you. I'm very sorry in the way that you all died. It was not fair. It was not right. It was not even humane. And I'm very sorry. But we just came here to communicate. You, you can't hurt us. I feel so like off. Anything above me right here is just heaviness. Like right here, I'm okay. But it's like past this door or the noose. It's, I feel like instant chills. Thomas, is that you making this side of the cells cold? Oh! Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. Can you touch that again if you're Thomas Hutchins? I see you're getting used to it now. Concerned. You do not have to be concerned. Nowadays, we have devices Gadgets, whatever you want to call them, that'll help us talk to the dead into the afterlife. What? It just went off again, I swear. I didn't hear it. No? No, you heard it? I just heard it go off. I didn't hear it. Thomas, can you touch that real hard? Or even the one in your cell? Make it sing for us. Use as much energy as you can. Disaster. Where did it go? The energy's like gone. Yeah. I wonder if it's bouncing out through the corridors. Oh, maybe. Here. Yeah. Right. They do like to jump between, Felicity was saying. You go first. I don't want to. <laughs> no, I don't either. Thomas, can you try and do your best to touch that one? Choose what? I think he means the REM pods. I'm talking about this one. Right in your cell. I don't know. That sounded like it was coming from in there. Okay, well we're gonna go in. So when I see a shadow formed in the corner, I'm being dead serious. It's like someone just stood right up. Spend <sighs> some time in here. I'm gonna sit in your cell with you. Ten. Ten. You okay? Yeah. Just depressing being in here. You know, yeah, it's a little bit off. Yeah. I just can't imagine being stuck in a cell like this. I think I'm gonna get the phone. Oh, that's creepy. I don't wanna get the phone anymore. Just do it. No, I'm not going to. Yes. I literally wanted to get my phone. I'm not going out there by myself. Like we said, no harm can be done to us. We won't do harm to you.
Okay. No! Right beside you. Right beside you. Thomas? Do you want to hurt me? No, he doesn't. He's not a mean man. He was just answering your questions. There's no way. Oh. oh, thank God I hear people outside because if I didn't have a window right there, if it was silent, I would have, I, I, I would have freaked out a lot more. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Hun. <coughs> Are you okay? Oh my God. That same thing. The coldness around my neck and then the tightness. Seriously? I really feel like it's Thomas showing me. Honey. Sister. Do you want me to stop recording? No, no, I'm good, I'm good. It's, it, like I said, it's not my pain. It's someone showing me something. Okay. If there's a message that correlates to your hanging, you need to tell us. God, what a horrible feeling. Move your head. It is kind of red in the middle. Just oddly in the middle though. <sighs> it was like the same thing as before. It would get cold and then all I felt was just pressure. But it wasn't like someone with their hand, you know, it was just pressure on my neck. Literally to the point where I coughed. Can you make the motion light go off in there? Glass. What? Are you kidding me? The camera just turned off right in front of me. Uh, what the f He's right beside me. Oh my god. The camera literally just turned off. I watched it turn off. It wasn't a night vision. As soon as I said that, it turned off. <sighs> oh my god, it's so cold. Who's right there? Did you just drain our camera battery? We kind of need that to catch you. Yeah, like it literally went off. The lights are still on. The lights I can are see still them on. on. It's just the camera that he turned off. Yeah, he literally turned off night vision mode and then turned off. That is crazy. No way. This is, oh my god, that is so cool. All right. And it said battery too. It did say battery. Who's in here with us? Please make yourself known. Thomas Dowd? Or are you the warden's wife? Oh my gosh. Very slightly going off. Where are you? What? Someone there? Yeah. Yeah. Who's right in front of me? Now you're behind no us. No way. Can you tell us? No, I won't. Can you tell us why you were imprisoned here for? Camera's going really blurry. Yeah? Yeah. Is it tracking anything? Listen. There's a weird energy. Hi. Hi. Hey. Can you tell us who we're chatting with? This is a new person. Where did you come from?
stop staring at his cell. It's like he's staring. He's being at sneaky him. though because he already hit he already hit the REM pod once. I know. What are you picking up right now? Nothing. Really? Nothing. It's like they've all taken a break. Graveyard. Graveyard. And it's like they all went to the graveyard. Thomas is buried in a graveyard across town. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it tonight. Did you just hear that growl? I think that was behind you. I think That was so. behind you, hun. You heard that growl too though, right? Oh, I heard it. One of the cameras had to pick that up. Maybe it is. Protect yourself, just a double protection. Growls aren't a good sign. I think it's the woman who killed her husband. You think? Are you Sarah Oliver? If you're Sarah Oliver, make one of the REM pods go off. People are coming. What? They're coming back, maybe, from the courthouse? <gasps> Thank you, hell? Sarah. Yeah, it's Sarah. Children. Okay, it's coming back and that's why it said children. We are talking to Sarah right now. So she was a servant from Ireland. She was 19 when she married 51 year old John Wallace. They set up a shoemaking business in St. George and had three children. Sarah began a relationship with the blacksmith. It says she struck him and he died. She was arrested, accused of murder and jailed. However, she was released four months after when it was discovered he died. By now she was pregnant by James Mark, a fellow inmate. They returned to St. George to live with an aging and disabled John Wallace. Um, and then it said that she apparently murdered him. So she was accused of her murder. Two. She didn't actually do it. I don't think she did. From what I remember talking to Felicity, I'm pretty sure she said that she didn't actually end up doing it. How do you feel, Sarah? To be accused of something you didn't do. Can you give scratch. us a scratch? What? Scratch? Can you give us a sign? Can you move something if you're upset? Or if you're, if you don't mind being in the afterlife, can you touch the rent pod on the ground? Sarah, if this is you, can you tell us? <gasps> Where is that coming from? I don't know. Oh, there's a walking ball. Sarah, if that's you, can you tell us what year or how old you were when you died? Do you feel that? Electricity all in front of us right now. You feel that too, right? A bit. Why do I feel that so much? You should dig here. You should dig here. If we were to dig here, what would we find? Were people buried here? It just got really cold behind me. Do you have a message for us? Wait. What? You know how it said you should dig here? Yeah. Person. Earlier on, it said bodies below. Seriously? Yeah, show, I'm just show me looking thing. at it. And it said, like, you should dig here. Drum pod. Drum pod. But then earlier, it said bodies below. You should dig here. No. How many people are buried below? Every time I sit on this bench, I feel like I'm not alone sitting on this bench. One. One body is buried. One body. Can you tell us who's buried?
Okay, something is moving this. I heard that. Something was like moving on the, the trunk. Yeah. Yeah, so it says here, remember how earlier on it said Irish? Yeah. Between 1820 and 1860, many Irish immigrants first landed on Hospital Island, which we were talking about earlier, on their way to St. Andrews. I died suddenly. Yeah, so three Irish boys were accused of theft and locked up in this jail cell. It is said they managed to escape through the narrow slit in the window. Whoa. Are we talking to the three little boys who were jailed here for stealing bread? Can't breathe. Okay. I asked how they died to show us or to tell us, and then it said can't breathe. Were you hung? Give us a sign that you're here with us. Anything. What is that smell? Oh, that's an overpowering smell. It smells like um, like a cigar, or like like a, a cigarette. I think we need to go grab the other rim pod. I think we should do some alone challenges that might help spike some more energy. Is someone in the cell? Negative. Negative. Someone in this cell? I just felt someone in there. Like I looked into the darkness and it was like someone was standing there almost. Then someone's, I felt someone right behind me in here. Alright, so for some reason, I feel like I'm not alone right now. Like someone has just been following right behind me. That's going off. Struggle. Yeah, I can tell you're struggling on some energy. K2, K2. No. Someone was just standing here. Yeah. Were you one of the boys? That just went off to red. Come back. Oh, look at there. that. And then that just went off. It's going. Are you over here? It's okay. It's literally leading us. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're right. Okay, we're gonna follow. Wait, I don't want to like scare them though. Why don't we like see if they can make some sort of noise? Tell us where they want us to go. Oh. Wow, it wants us. Oh, and I've got big shivers. <sighs> wow. Something about over there now. Just like, I know. Shifted because it was back there. Now it's over here. Can you make it go to red if you are Sarah Oliver? What about Thomas Hutchings? If that's you, make it go all the way to red. No. It's, it did. it's, oh my God, no! I did it! No way! Thank you, Thomas Hutchings. We've been waiting for you. Thomas. Thank you so much. Wow. It's, it's, it's going off. Yeah, like, like it's strong. Right and like, if you really think about it, we're not even close. Nowhere close to, to it. it. There's no EMF fields near that. Oh, oh, yeah, the camera's super blurry. There Can we go. Come here for a second? Because I'm starting to get the sense that someone it's trying to claim their area. I don't think they want you over there. If you don't want me over there, can you make it go to red again? Thomas, make it go to red if you don't want me over there.
Make it go to red if you want me over there. Oh. Sides. No. Oh. I think they're starting to spit up now. Yeah. You know what it is? You know what it is? What, what, what time is it? 9.30. Weren't they allowed in their corridors at a certain time and then they were sent back in their cells? Yes, but I don't know what time that was. I think it was up. Are you guys out in the hallway right now? I think they're all getting sent back to their cells. Feel right here. It's freezing. Feel I can right feel here. it right here too. A breeze. And it didn't go this way from the window. It went this, this way. way. Yeah. Like it goes going cell to cell. Cell to cell. What if it's an old jail officer going cell to cell, checking on them? I say we spend some time where those footsteps are coming from. Yeah. That was intense. Okay. Share my message. We will, 100%. In this one. Did the walking come from this one or that one? I don't know, but I'm getting an urge to be in this cell. Who's walking in here? Thomas Dowd, we're entering your cell. Gain more energy. As soon as I got in here, gaining more energy. Thomas Dowd, we know that you're an innocent man. We know that you did not kill that man and that it was actually your wife and you were covering I'm up. I'm from the 1900s. Thomas, we know that you're innocent and we want to share with everyone your innocence. Your wife. Law. What did that say? Lock. Lock. You were locked in here for the wrong reasons, and I'm very sorry. Your wife confessed on her deathbed that she was the one to kill that man, not you. Tell us. We want to know how it feels to be locked up in such a small area. Or to be accused of even something you didn't do. There has to be some sort of emotional connection and feeling that you have. Whoa. What's that from out there? I just saw a shadow. Seriously? I think it was just on the floor, I think. Oh, K2. Oh, no, no. Oh, the REM pod. Okay. What was that? I think it was just the bed maybe shifting from where we're stepping. No. Did someone just move the bed? It sounded like it. Because no one touched anything. We were literally. Well, we're not some even of the that. Floorboards just shook it. Who just moved the bed? That was weird because I thought that was you. No, no. But if you didn't touch anything. I didn't. Especially not the bed. I would have been able to tell if I touched the bed. Photos. Okay. Photos. I'm going to take some photos in this room. But if I take photos, you got to tell us your message. Do we have a deal? Take one here again. Yeah, then we got to go over if we've caught anything. Yeah. He's over there. No. Where's over oh. where? You have to be a little bit more specific. He's somewhere here. Maybe, or maybe in the it's hall. saying he's over there because I just pulled out my... My, my camera's doing something strange. What? This has never happened before when I've taken live photos. Where it like... Do you see that? No. Like, I don't see a spirit or anything, but... 
Like it just randomly. Please take care. Are you leaving us? Something's touching me. What? Something's touching me. What? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Something just touched me back here. No. Nothing aggressive. It was just like um, like someone's finger went in the crease of my kneecap. Thomas, can you show us? What? Many died here. Oh, okay, this is getting... Please tell me you just saw my hair moved. I will have to review the footage. I, I, I really think someone just went like, like pulled on my hair. I saw it move and Water. felt it. Thomas, can you show us? Show us? Show us? Show us? Show us? I wasn't paying attention to your hair. Can someone tell us who is with us in this room? We thank you so much for doing the best that you can to talk to us. 1878. What does that say though? I don't know. David Gummery. Can you show us the word innocence? Trust me. We do trust you. We know that you're innocent. Where did you write it? Whoa! Did that chair just kind of squeak? I think so. No! Thomas, are you sitting on this chair? I'm gonna take a picture. If you're sitting there, make yourself known. Did you hear me? I did hear you, yeah. That's really cool. No! Wait! What? Okay, what? Watch, watch that again. Watch clearly here. Do you see that white mist? Yes. How it literally goes up. No. Play it again. Like though you can. There's a mist. You can see the mist going up. Face. That's him. I think he's trying to appear to us. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture again. Ready? Smile. Oh, play it again. Like the you can There's a mist. You can see the mist going up. Face. That's him. I think he's trying to appear to us. That is incredible. Thank you, Thomas. That is incredible. You know how they said share my message? Yeah. What was the message? That he's innocent. But he didn't do he's this. Innocent. He died wrongfully. That was crazy. As if we just caught a mist. And guess what it said on the spirit box earlier? Mist. Oh my god, that's right. Messages. They were trying to appear Child. to us all along. Child. Thank you. Thank you so much to every spirit who resides in this jail. We're gonna have to show that to police. My body is close by. Uh, Chels? What? What just happened to this light? Hey, it was red! It just shut it right off. This camera rolling? Yeah, it's rolling. So it would have caught it. It would have caught it. Yeah, it literally turned our light off. Did it turn that light off too? No, that light was off all along. And it's no still, way. You can tell that the battery is still charged because the blue light's on. And yeah, it, it just still. took it. Drain. Drain. Just said drain. I say we go and let her know what's up. Yeah, let's go. Bye, thank you. Thank you so much. And the boys. Hello, how did you do it? <laughs> I personally feel like I can't stay alone in here or something yeah. will happen. Is that a common feeling for a lot of people? Yes, I've had a sleep just leave. Really? <laughs> yeah, they just packed up and then they said, good luck. <laughs> what do you want? The thing, we go to abandoned spots and we can do that, but for some reason in here I don't feel comfortable. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's Thomas, I don't know if it's... Uh, well, you know, I think with like the hurricane that's just pulled through, the, the event, like, you know, everything associated to the 29th September, 
and cause the veil set in between now and the end of October. Oh, yeah. very true. And don't forget the tides. And we picked the perfect time. Tides gone out. And you think about how many souls have been lost in the bay here. Mm -hmm. Just how many people washed up from Hospital Island. You think about the force yeah. of energy and the amount of surge we've had, the tidal surge. And of course, remember I showed you like the times that they yeah. were allowed in this area or back in the south. So it's mm -hmm. a perfect time. So it's almost like you don't want to be alone in here because you won't be alone in here. Yeah. yeah. What happened is we found the cup in the, the ceiling, this cup, years ago. If I find something, don't disturb it. Yeah. Just leave it be. I should have listened to my <laughs> inner self, but I didn't because I thought there might be treasure. And it was hidden right up in there. In the ceiling. In the ceiling. And a ghost walker found it with his phone. And he was like, yeah. So I get up on the guy's shoulders. <laughs> like that weighed a lot less than. And I reached in for it. And we thought there might be something in there. Because a couple of weeks before, and there was just stuff coming out of the walls. Yeah. Like um, match paper things. Okay. Book matches no. from like 1935. And so we, we had to. Ever since then, this has not been a good sell for me. We've had a light come travelling out, and it's not a dust door because it's it's following, it's following right. somebody, mm -hmm. and it will get as far as here, and you can have the lights on, right, and it will still be visible. That's it's pulsating. That's exactly. And then it comes back, and once it knows that you know it's here, it boom. Gone. Yep. Yes. Yes. I'm so glad so much. And we've got video evidence of it. And guess what day it was? 29th September. Oh my god. Oh, I just had the chills yeah. go right down me. All night, I felt from this cell past, something was there. That electricity. Oh, I can show you a picture because one afternoon I sat in here to avoid the heat. And this was years ago. It's on the Facebook page and it's called Travelling From Here To There. And you see, and it's, what I've done is I put my camera, my phone, on heat sensor. So if there was something moving, it would catch it. Do you see something come out of this cell, look like that at me, and then just go straight over and Whoa. take one, wow. two pictures out of 800 pictures. I was just sat there and go, Ch -ch -ch -ch. It's almost about this tall, probably about my height, but it's traveling. But it knew I was there because the smells change. Mm -hmm. You know when that man's in here because of the smell of urine. Surprising, I got a weird body odor smell, but it wasn't like a normal body odor. It was like dirty. I was gonna say muddy. a hard-working man, mm -hmm. somebody who could have been a blacksmith, mm. sweated a lot. That's common. Well, you think back then hygiene wasn't a very strong point. Yeah. When you get those big storms coming in, you get those tidal surges and. You know, we've just done what a full moon. So you put all of that together, 45th parallel, the gravity pull, you have three quarters of the world's lakes emptying into this bay, and you've got a hurricane coming in. in and I heard when you were sat somewhere, and you said that you felt somebody move something. Yes, yeah, so. Camera in my hand, and I'm like, feet are planted on the ground. And all of a sudden, the thing just went, and I was going with it, and then I, but I wasn't moving. But it was like someone was sitting beside me and like just leaned forward. One night, a photographer for one of the big cruise ships wanted to get in here at midnight. And I said, sure. The minute he walked in, all of his cameras started to just drain. Oh, wow. And I said to him, bring a battery charger with you mm -hmm. because everything drains in a very short time. He got me to sit here. All of a sudden, I become completely transparent. And what appears to be a rather large animal was sat on my lap. And you could feel the bench moving. I think he's been one of the most active investigations I've heard for quite a while, actually. It's amazing. We still have to review the footage, too, so there might even be more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, until you go back and then you, you see something, because I heard you talking about somebody walking across. Horizontally, you saw the stuff. There was a man, and I can show you the pictures. It was caught on um, a camera that they'd set up in this cell here. I put it on the Facebook page. There was a woman piling her trade, long hair, sat with her legs like this across it, and there is a man stood on the staircase behind her. Do you see any staircases? No. 
every single picture that I took that night from the monitors out in that room, every single cell had that man outside and he patrolled all. Oh. <laughs> I just got the chills. It's still in here. Yeah. Yeah. He actually patrols. He's like the main man. And you can actually see him and he's on the staircase looking down at this woman and then so this weird. one, they put a camera in this one and again, he's looking straight in. Whoa. Then, all of a sudden, you see an animal looking in. That's out there. Animal. Well, I heard you heard the growl. Yes, yes, we heard the because growl. Because I heard the growl from in there because I went, oh, no. Oh, you even heard it from out there. Yes, yeah, it's quite loud, isn't it? Yeah. It's not an embodied growl. It's nothing to be, a, you know, afraid of. It is unusual. I yeah. Have to admit. Very clear. But yeah. it's very clear. And other people have heard it. And people have caught webbed prints. I can't you're wait you're to see it. You're going to be shocked when you do see it. Well, yeah. I'm going to so. send you the link. And I swear this is going to be a lot different than... A lot of people. Uh, well, see, I really enjoyed you know, hosting you here because you know I've done a bit of research on you, and you have different um, ways of dealing with it. So mm -hmm. yeah, we definitely approach yeah. that in different ways. Oh yeah, it's different. And I think each to each investigation and each team is different. They bring their own spin. Yes. But yeah, and I love the way that you go back in time. Yes. Which makes them kind of like not realize that they're in 2022. Exactly, yeah. You no, know? because I think sometimes they they, uh, they will catch a glimpse of somebody in an outfit. But it's funny you've done that because, and I know the gentleman personally, he sent me a picture and he said, I don't remember this woman on the ghost walk and she's dressed 1800 style. Whoa. And they said, well, maybe it's Felicity. And they went, no, Felicity's got short hair. This woman appeared in one photo and one photo only. And she looked like she'd been dragged through a hedge backwards. You would remember it. And I asked everybody on that ghost walk, do you remember this woman? Nobody remembered her. She was in one photo and one photo alone. No, I really, yeah. I really enjoyed hosting. Yes. I'm glad you managed to make it up with yes. here in Drift through a hurricane. Yeah, it's been very entertaining listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> we only even care. We'll show our true emotions. Yeah. So yeah. It's, you know, sometimes that even spikes. So big shouts out to the Joe and for you. Oh, no worries. No, thank you very much. <laughs>